you sustain the uh, loss in that way and, and that kind of situation? What, what was your message to the team afterward? Well, again, I told them I was proud of them. I thought we competed extremely hard fought. I thought we were very physical through the game. I thought we, you know, we battled all the way through. We just, we, we let, once again left some opportunities out there in all three phases that prevented us from winning the game. And, uh, you know, this one stings as much as any of them. And, um, but I told them again, I was proud of the way they, we, we fought and competed for, for four quarters. Well, I, I think we know what we're saying. We, we catch a, a, a kickoff return on the, on the one yard line. We, we dropped a touchdown pass. Um, you know, we, we didn't tackle well and had, had some coverage bus on, on a couple plays and, and things like that. So, I mean, there's, there's things and probably things that you guys see as well that, that are, are pretty obvious in there. We, you know, we miss an extra point. You know, we don't knock it out and, and they get a safety. All those things can hurt you in the end. With that play with Jamil on kickoff, in those situations, what are you guys coaching him to do in, in those spots? I don't want to get into criticizing a player, okay? That's not fair, Michael, okay? You know, we're not going to tell a guy to go catch the ball as his momentum's taking him out of bounds, okay? That, 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 I think that would make common sense, okay? But, you know, the young man was trying to make a play, and he, and he lost track of where he was at. Human mistake. And for you guys, on the final drive, just what did you see from the offense? What did you see? A lot of blitzing. A lot of blitzing. A shitload of blitzing. Okay. That's what it was. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Yeah, just how do you think you guys bounced back? How effective were you guys after? I didn't know, realize. I, 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 Henry, I, I, you helped me out. I, I'm not. Yeah, sorry, just the sequence of the safety and touchdown after that. It seemed like. I mean, it was a huge, huge momentum shift, you know, when it went to them, and then we battled, and, and, uh, you know, we had a chance to, you know, we, we ended up getting a touchdown there. Luke makes a heck of a play. We get the ball back, and, uh, you know, we still have it. We're, we're going in for a possible opportunity to kick a field goal, and, and, and we threw an unfortunate um, interception there for the half. It's a game of momentum swings. A lot of them are. Again, I thought we, again, had pretty, pretty good resilience throughout the game. Obviously, we had the lead until the final, you know, we. You know, they have a chance. They drop a touchdown pass as well. So, you know, things kind of play out in a certain way. But, um, you know, they kick a field goal, then, then they get the last field goal. You know, we almost have a sack, takes them out of field goal range, like I said, and could have been a who knows what happens after that, but it didn't happen that way. Lance, you said repeatedly you're not uh, going to talk about moral victories and stuff like that, but is there anything positive in the way? Yeah, we fought our ass off. It's pretty evident that this is a good football team. And we lost to a really good football team. But this team hasn't quit. On that note with the defense, what do you like about what they showed in the second half, responding? You know, again, we got some stops. I don't have all the, the exact stuff there, but I thought we got some stops, got a turnover. You know, I don't know if we tackled as cleanly as we'd like to, but at times there. But again, I thought, I thought again, we, we, I mean, they, like I said, we, we we held them to the field goal when we needed to. Battle to the end, they force you know a 51-yard field goal is a pretty long field goal. So again, I thought, uh, um, you know, again they, I, I thought again we competed hard. Trevor Wilson got a lot of action. Today. It seemed like certain effort involved. Maybe just what did you push us out there? I thought Trevor played outstanding. Probably maybe his best overall game as a Jayhawk. As he's been here, made some big catches. He's made a lot of contested catches. He's played well. Lance, I know it's not time for big picture reflections. Do you think the gap's closing between these two schools? I don't know. I think the last two years we've had our opportunities to win the game, and we haven't. So that's, you know, again, you know, like we said, we're not going to get into moral stuff. But, I th again, I think, again, for, 
for, for where it was at and where, where we think we are as a football team. Obviously, we're a two and six football team right now, and that's not very good. But this team has got a lot of, it still has a lot of talent and played hard and came up short in a, you know, in a, you know, we always say winning's tough. Winning on the road's even more difficult. And, and still, at the end, I, I, I thought we had our chance. Mm -hmm. Take the ball, a chance to kind of put it away. What did you see from your guys before they took the field on that offensive series? I mean, is there a is there a juice there that, that maybe hasn't been there all year? No. You know, I, right you know, our guys are really confident on both sides of the ball. Even after the field goal, like Melo Dotson said, "Coach, we got this and stuff." You know, guys really thought that they were confident in one another on both sides that things could happen. You know, I thought again, all in all, yeah, I know Jalen ended up having a couple couple turnovers, but. At, at the end of the day, I thought he played extremely hard and well and created a lot of plays for us. And uh, so, you know, proud of the way he's played and led our team. You know, again, I thought, you know, uh, you know we mentioned Savion. I thought Devin was solid again. Trevor, Luke, all those were, you know, all, all pretty solid. I know Quentin feels bad about the one that, that, that you know, he didn't, he didn't make the play on. And as we know, nine times out of ten, he will. So. You guys have the bye coming up now. I know you're talking in the past about how you like your bye week schedules. When you have two that are so close together, do you yeah. follow the one you previously had? Uh, well, we've time? got some probably some modifications to it yet. We'll kind of look at some things. What's better for the psyche of this team right now? Is that going on? Did you learn anything from the previous bye week this season that you feel will be particularly important to emphasize during this upcoming one? Again, you always want to get back to fundamentals, and even at, at, the, at the end of them, you know, again, we've we, we've liked our schedule between, you know, giving them some time away. Hopefully, you can get some time back in the weight room and a little more, a little more time than you normally do in your weeks. Try a chance to work with some of our younger players. Again, will be important. We'll continue to do those things.